high next staff, both regular and ad hoc, were victims of violence. Some of our staff were abducted, some were harassed, some were intimidated, some were hospitalized, and in one case killed. Nevertheless, where we could not deploy to enable citizens to vote, the Commission took decisive action to remobilize to such places to enable citizens to exercise their franchise. Unfortunately, we could not extend the same to areas where voting was disrupted and election materials destroyed. We are keeping our eyes on those areas and will not hesitate to remobilize where the outcome of the election is affected. The 2023 general election is approaching its concluding stages. Arising from the presidential and national assembly elections held on the 25th day of February 2023, the Commission promised Nigerians that there will be improved processes during the governorship and state assembly elections held yesterday, Saturday, 18th March 2023. In keeping with this promise, we had meetings with our resident electoral commissioners and service providers and the interagency consultative committee on election security to review processes and procedures to ensure more optimal delivery of personnel and materials to various locations for the election to facilitate the opening of rooms on time. Consequently, majority of the polling units nationwide open on schedule and citizens were attended to uh, promptly. Similarly, there was improved voter authentication using the bimodal voter accreditation system, VIVAS, while the uploading of the polling unit results to the INEC Resolve View portal witnessed a remarkable improvement. We have left no stone on top as far as the processes and procedures under the control of the Commission we are concerned. However, for difficult and, for, and unforeseen circumstances outside the Commission's control, we did our best to respond, especially where processes were disrupted by actors over whom we have little or no control. Such diabolical behavior did not only affect citizens, but also impacted on the Commission's officials and processes. At the moment, collation of results and declaration of winners for the 28th governorship and 993 state assembly elections are ongoing nationwide. We are committed to the sanctity of the process and will not hesitate to take drastic measures against proven irregularities. Allegations of, of voter inducement, harassment, and manipulation of results will be reviewed and addressed. Earlier today, the Commission alerted the nation to the infection of our OB local government area office in other states by talks during the collection of results for the governorship and state assembly elections. The contention was the collected result from the registration areas for the governorship election in that local government area. The intention was to force the collection of these contentious results. The behavior of these talks is unacceptable and there will be a thorough review of the results. The Commission does not take the patience of citizens for granted and we continue to take steps to protect the integrity of the vote and consolidate the progress so far made in the electoral process. I thank all of you.